Having traveled all the way from Australia, Helen is on the Greek island of Mytilini looking to purchase a dream vacation home. It is a dream to come back to, I suppose, my roots. Will her desire to return to the island her father is from result in her finding her dream vacation home? I look forward to coming here on a regular basis. Whilst I haven't been here in 45 years, now is my time. Hellenic home hunting followed Helen to the stunning island of Mytilene. So listen, uh, now, yeah. <laughs> now is the big decision. Yeah, yeah. What are you thinking? Welcome to another episode of Hellenic Home Hunting, the exclusive television show dedicated to promoting the beautiful Greek real estate market to the world. In this episode, we will be featuring a woman looking for a property investment in Greece. Helen Robinson is an Australian national looking for real estate on the beautiful island of Mytilini. My name is Helen Robinson. I come from North Queensland in Australia. Helen lives on the other side of the world in Australia known for its cosmopolitan lifestyle and rugged outback. I work for an international company. My boss has uh, businesses in Australia and uh, Singapore and, and Papua New Guinea. Helen works for a wealthy entrepreneur in Australia, managing his 53,000 acre cattle station. In addition to the physical labor of managing the cattle station, Helen Project manages many of the functions surrounding the business, including mining and maintenance of heavy machinery. I work approximately 29 days a month. I haven't had a holiday in five years and I see my life continuing there. Being an Australian national with Greek ties, Helen is looking to reconnect with her Greek heritage by buying a summer home on the island her father is from. I haven't been back to Greece since 1967. I suppose as a 16 year old, 17 year old, you don't realize everything that's here. But having uh, thought about my family, my past, I realized that I did want to come back and really see if I remembered it out how it was. And getting to Mytilene was the first step because luckily I stayed in the same hotel that we'd stayed at in 1967. They treated it like a homecoming and it was, the port was as I remembered. It's one of the very few memories I have. My father was from Plumari and came to Australia via America. We came out here in 1966 and stayed for a year and went back to Australia. And that uh, memory has always stayed in my mind. Australia is beautiful, um, but so too is Greece. When we came here, I was stimulated by the culture and the people. I look forward to coming here on a regular basis. Whilst I haven't been here in 45 years, now is my time. With thousands of islands in the deep blue waters, Greece is visited by millions of tourists every year. Hellenic home hunting followed Helen to the stunning island of Mytilene located 275 kilometers from Athens. Whilst Australia is wonderful and we do have everything, this is so much easier to get around here and you can opt when to come. The weather is superb. It is just a beautiful place to be. The journey getting here took Helen from Australia to Singapore to Athens and then to Mytilene, taking more than 72 hours of travel time. Certainly, the trip has been worthwhile. Helen took her property search to the internet, helping to make the most of her trip to Greece. I have heard a lot about the Greek economy and the trouble um, that Greece is facing. I have Greek friends back in Australia 
who have assured me that the islands will probably be insulated to some degree. One is hoping that the Greek economy will turn around. Um, certainly the Greek people give in every indication of it wanting to. Living on a cattle station, uh, two hours drive to the nearest shop, uh, you usually have to do everything by the internet. So when I decided I was going to come here, um, the visit was prior to the buying. I looked up a number of sites on the internet and I settled on greekpropertyexchange.com. It had a lot of information that pertained to uh, real estate. So I chose uh, from, the, from the list a real estate agent in the area of Lesbos. With a busy work schedule that leaves little time for rest, Helen wants to invest in a vacation home on the island of Mithilini. So what is she looking for? I feel that I would really like three bedrooms, um, two bathrooms to facilitate guests. I've considered both a, a traditional village uh, property and something on the water. Having arrived here now, the water is, is very, very inviting. The possibility of renting uh, a portion or, or the whole property out in the, the Greek summer months. At the moment, uh, I think I would be looking at around the 250, 260,000 euro uh, price range. Looking to get all the help she can, Helen invited her friend along for the home hunting experience. Marlene is an American citizen that has been vacationing in Mithilini for the last 30 years. Looking for the perfect vacation home in Mithilini, Helen reached out to a local real estate professional to guide her on her journey. Good to meet you. Hello, hello Helen. Hello, nice. Nice to meet you. Finally. Have this, you been waiting long? No, 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 we, <laughs> 10 minutes. Excellent. This is my friend Marlene. Uh, Pleased to meet you. Originally from Mithilini, but having lived in the United Kingdom for several years, Dimitra is a professional real estate agent located in a seaside town called Batera. I hope at the end of your visit, you'll feel a little bit about Lesbos as to what I feel about it. That's why I've got my friend Marlene, yeah. because she's an expert. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> really? I have, well, I'm not an expert, but I have some experience. I've been coming here for about 30 years now. Wow. My husband and I bought a property near Polignitos, and we built a house. It took a little bit of time, so the process was learning experience for oh, us. Yeah. Yeah, but now we have this beautiful house on the water. And you know, the story is I met Helen through Facebook. Oh, on her, her daughter's Facebook page, yeah. and we started communicating through email. But with Helen, we've been emailing to each other some months now. Yeah. So we were able over the internet, over the email, for her to see some example properties, and we have a conversation as what's possible, what's feasible. So in regard to the properties that we're going to view, have they come down oh, a, a, a great deal? Yes, I mean, uh, without a doubt, without a doubt, the prices have come down and the sellers, they are a lot more flexible of negotiating so and achieving. Realistic. They are very realistic. Yeah. Yeah. It's the right time to put your money in a safe place, in bricks and mortar. That's never a bad idea. Even if the market is low, then it's bound to go up. You know the circles that real estate goes. And down here in the south of Lesbos, the prices are really very uh, manageable. This house hunting experience will be taking them to the southwest part of the island to view three homes in the towns known as Fatera, Poliknitos, and Vrisa. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay. We're ready. The team heads to the traditional streets of Poliknitos to get to the first house. The first house is a traditional style home located just 15 minutes from Batera Beach. We have arrived at the first house on our viewing list, uh, which is the Polignitos traditional stone house. Okay. Yeah. It's an old house for about 50 years old, but it's been restored and extended. So right now it offers uh, 120 square meters over two floors. So what was the price of this house? It has been reduced to 125,000 euros. With three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a size of 120 square meters, 
This house has a price of 125,000 euros. Yes. Shall we go in inside? Yes, oh, yes let's please, go. Yeah. What does Helen think of the traditional stone house? So, you had the chance to see this house. What are your views on it? I like the stonework and it's definitely traditional. You were saying about the bathroom downstairs. Yes. yes. It's plumbed for the um, yes, washing the plumbing, machine, yes, so yeah. it would not be. No, it's not too a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bedroom in the front, I think, uh, just painting up the roof, yeah. the ceiling yeah. would lighten, lighten it up, up a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, the kitchen's fine. Yeah, There's the kitchen seems a new workable. refrigerator. Yeah, yeah that, I like the mosaics on the floor yeah, here yeah. and in, in the yeah. living room. I it's believe nice. if you lighten up the colors on the walls, the whole house is going to get yeah, more light. Yeah, and just light. keep the feature of the stonework. Keep the features, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the yeah. upstairs is a little convoluted. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. And a little courtyard yeah. here, yeah. and it's private because and you have a obviously wall. obviously a little storage yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah. The good thing is that it's got central heating. Okay, it's a stone house and it's a natural insulator for heat and yeah. cold. But if you want the extra coziness, you've got a central heating system okay. as well. But of course, you've got the fireplace, the fireplace too, yeah. which is you know, very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. no, it's yeah. good. Yeah. It's in the central part of town, yeah. but it's not exactly in the middle no. of everything. It seems pretty quiet. Yeah, actually. it does yeah. actually. It, it surprised me. I yeah. thought it would be yeah. noisier. With a quick five minute drive, the team arrives to view the second home in the town of Risa. The second home is a modernized traditional house hidden off the main road. So this is where we are in the village of Risa to see the modernized traditional house, the open concept. It is a two-story house, of course. Uh, in size, it's 125 square meters, over two levels. And in a plot of 160 square meters. And how much is this cost? Well, the price of this the, the prop, this particular property just came on the market, so it's priced at 165,000 euro. With two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a size of 125 square meters, this house has a price of 165,000 euros. house have everything Helen is looking for? So, what do you think then, ladies? Well, I think it's got the absolute wow factor down It's worth there. getting excited about, yeah. isn't it? Oh, it's magnificent. Yeah. It's really lovely. The stonework is oh. phenomenal. Yeah. It's just so modern. Yeah. Yes. modern. The amount of money he would have spent on, on like the um, appliances. Yes, uh, and, and Everything good quality. Yes, everything yeah. Yeah. new. Even yeah. though it's, it's dark stone, yeah. it's not a dark house. No. no. No, and just yeah. walking up to it, you see, it yeah, just has a, beautiful. such a beautiful yeah. aura to it. I always have a thing about some of the narrow stairways. Yeah, because yeah. there are some of the steps are pretty narrow, but yeah. you know, once you get up or down you get the used stairs, to it. you, get, yes. you yeah. get used to it. Yeah. Again, uh, this house originally would have had a heavily constructed wooden staircase. Uh, now, which is so not there anymore. So uh, this is the modern concept. What did you think about the size of the bedrooms upstairs? A little disappointing, but if you, you have to weigh it up with downstairs. Mm. But I think um, there's, you, there's no flexibility in movement of the bedrooms. Right, yeah. But that will have to be a consideration. 
The other thing that slightly worries me is the ruins, oh, for want yes, of a better yeah. word. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, as far as that uh, is concerned, I have already spoken to the owner as to what's happening because it is an eyesore, you can't uh, deny that. And uh, the feedback I'm getting is the owner of that particular property is willing to sell it. And he's actually trying to negotiate the price. Uh, so once the ruin goes, then this house will acquire you know, uh, a much larger plot of land. But of course, it can't be within the, the existing price. It's going to be an add Oh, obviously. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The team heads to the third and final house, located in the seaside town of Vatera. Vatera is located in southwest part of Mitilini Island, attracting tourists to its famous beach that stretches several kilometers long. This newly built home has modern finishes and a direct view of the Aegean Sea. We're here in Vatera now to see the Aegean Sea Views Villa, which is a new construction, as you can see. Uh, it's very close to the sea, uh, but the style that has been built, it resembles the architectural style of the villages around us. Uh, it is uh, one of two villas that's for sale, so, but we will see the one. They're identical. Uh, the size of the villa is 135 square meters over four levels. And you can see the ingenious way of the construction inside. And it has 500 square meters of land to go with it. And what was the price of this one? The price is actually excellent for what it is. It's 255,000 euro. With four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a size of 135 square meters, this house has a price of 255,000 euros. What's your impression? Mm. Certainly beautiful. Well, it is. It's <laughs> lovely. And you can't replace the position. Yes. Um, it is exquisite and it's been built to a very, very high standard. Yeah. It deserves the name, a GMC view. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. No, it has the space, it yeah. has the right staircase. Yeah. Um, it, it is well, well maintained. Yeah. And I like the fact the that bathroom. it has the the split level, so you have yeah. a few steps and you have a, be a bedroom, yeah. and then yeah. you have go up another few steps yeah. and you have the two. Obviously, the the house is a new construction. And yeah. uh, finishing off, so they don't seem to be there. No. So what I would suggest, uh, we'll write a list yes. yeah. of what it is that we want to know clear answers yes. for, and then I will be able to qualify those answers with the owner. That's going to be the fairest yeah, thing. Yeah, because if, um, if you have to pay more. Of course. And it, it's yes. going to add to, to the, the price. Price. Yes, over course. the budget basically. Yeah. And do you know how long it'll take before they do finish yeah. the house complete? Oh no, it's a case once a deal has been agreed, it's going to be very, very quickly because what's left to do is really minimal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what about a, um, access through mm -hmm. this back area? Yes, that needs to be clarified because a, a portion of land goes with the house right. and we need clarification as in topographical document, which yes. is my bit. 
Yes, and, and, a, and you know. the ability to build a carport. Of I, some I think kind. a carport should be no problem because they don't need uh, allowance as per planning permission. Okay. So a carport, an open uh, an carport, carport yeah, yeah. I think it would be allowed. Yeah. Okay. Also about a building in front. Yes. So that, is there any obstruction with the view that is currently there? Right. There's so no, the the no property, house. which is every size of land, has a certain amount to build. It would appear to me that the house which is immediately in front of the two villas to be sold has exhausted its allowance, but that can be checked. Yes, it's roomy enough for people to feel comfortable, yeah. you know, guests yeah, and Yeah, exactly, yourself. and especially as you pointed out, that second bedroom, yeah. the, the lower bedroom. Yeah. I'll come Basically. stay here with you okay. if you buy it. <laughs> okay. Well, and coming coming here for 30 years, I saw how much construction has been going on over the course yeah, of the well, years. Yeah, well, you would. Was, yeah, you would. There wasn't much but, here uh, before. In this house, you get a little bit of extras, which you perhaps you didn't think of, like the electric uh, uh, shutters on oh, the windows. Yes, the yeah. So without having to go like this with a yes. roll, yeah, it, it just gives the extra bit of uh, value. L and luxury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With impressive sea views and all the right finishes, this house has impressed Helen. Helen is excited with the three homes she has seen and what this beautiful island has to offer. Now she needs to sit down with her property professionals to recap. I thought it would be useful to invite my professional associates here. Dimitra brought two of her professional colleagues to help Helen with any questions she has. Ageliki Santi is a Greek lawyer and Kostas Fragopoulos is a Greek civil engineer, both working in Mitilini. I'd like to know how long it usually takes for settlement from the time that you put in a deposit and sign that your intentions to buy. How long does that usually take to, to get the key? In case uh, you are a European citizen or you have the Greek nationality, uh, it's easier to get the permission to buy something in borders because uh, Lesbos is in the border of uh, Greece. So we have a different uh, uh, procedure to buy the house uh, in this place. Do you need to be in residence during any of that period of time? You can uh, give the power of attorney uh, to somebody you, uh, you trust and uh, he, in this case, uh, we, uh, we usually give the power of attorney to the real estate agent. Demetra was very kind and sent me a list of, of things that I would need to have. Mm -hmm. So currently, um, here now, I have uh, my my resume um, in translated into Greek. I have my birth certificate. I have my father's Greek papers, my grandparents' Greek papers. I have my intent to buy letter, all signed by notaries, and my police clearance. What other kind of documentation would I need to supply to you? You've got all the legal documents. But now, because the license is property specific, mm -hmm. you need to decide which property is going to be. So the additional doc documentation will relate to the property. Helen has gathered all the relevant documentation, but other actions are required. The primary action is to get you a tax registration number. Now, why would you need that number? Mm. Well, basically, that number is the one you'll have forever, almost getting it tattooed on your forehead, because you need it to buy the property, as in to go and pay the property transfer tax on it. You need to have that number to go and put electricity on it. You need to have that number to have water uh, uh, added to it. If you decided you want to do some works to it, you need to apply for a planning permission. You have to have it. Yeah. And if you need to pay national insurance on account of the works you might do to your house, you want that as well. So basically, think of it like your passport number. One of the properties that I'm looking at is being sold because of its view to the Aegean. In front of the property, there is some vacant land. How high is planning, um, height-wise, um, for a building that may go in front of a property, should I choose to buy it? The maximum height of the building uh, can be seven meters and uh, one half meter for the roof. One of the things that Demetra said is an important document is the deposit agreement. Could you explain? Because it reserves uh, this uh, property on your behalf and uh, makes all the special agreements that uh, we want uh, between buyer and vendor. Is there any other fees and charges like 
We've talked about all the work that Costa will have to do. Mm. And we've talked about all the work you would have to do. Mm. Well, what is the notary's role? The vendor has to pay for the topographical document, has to pay for the energy ID, has to have a solicitor that represents him, uh, both at deposit agreement time and at sale completion time and pays his, that's his legal fees. Mm -hmm. And of course paying the estate agent that found the buyer for him. The buyer now has the responsibility of the deposit agreement. The deposit agreement fee is the responsibility of the buyer mm -hmm. because he's securing his position. Yeah? And then you have the notary uh, charges and land registry charges. Of course the solicitor that's been uh, doing all the checks for you yeah? and the estate agent fees. At home, stamp duty is usually about eighteen to twenty thousand dollars. Right. So, is it in those kind of? It's eight percent for the first five thousand of the value, yeah. and the rest calculated ten percent. With the great information from the property professionals, Helen is now in position to make her final decision. It wouldn't be possible without you <laughs> and uh, Hibiscus <laughs> Ventures, yes. um, and and you really have been wonderful. We've been dealing on the internet yeah. for quite some time, which we. Uh, are very thankful for. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for your time, both of you. And I uh, hope I move to Greece soon. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be wonderful. Having traveled all the way from Australia, Helen is on the Greek island of Mytilini looking to purchase a dream vacation home. It is a dream to come back to, I suppose, my roots. Uh, my father always spoke about the place in glowing terms. When we came here, I was stimulated by the culture and the people. Well, her desire to return to the island her father is from results in her finding her dream vacation home. Helen and her friend Marlene gather on the beach of Atara to make a decision. So listen, uh, now, yeah. <laughs> now is the big decision. Yeah, yeah. What are you thinking? The first home has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a price of 125,000 euros. I like the stonework and it's definitely traditional. While she loves the traditional look and stone finish, the upstairs layout seems to be an issue. The upstairs is a little convoluted. Yes. The second home has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a price of 165,000 euros. It's magnificent, yeah, it's really lovely. The stonework is oh. phenomenal. While she likes the modern finishes and first floor layout, the yard next door is a visual problem. The other thing that slightly worries me is the ruins, oh, for want yes, of a better yeah. word. The third home has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a price of 255,000 euros. It is exquisite and it's been built to a very, very high standard. While she loves the view of the Aegean Sea, Helen is concerned about the amount of work still needed to complete the home. If you have to pay more, of course. And it, it's yes. going to add to the, yes, over the budget, basically. Yeah. Hasn't it been a great couple uh, of days? Yes, it's been wonderful. I'm so glad I was here to be able to share this yeah. with you. I don't know how anyone would would do all that without having someone like Dimitri in a network. I know. I've been doing a lot of thinking about it and I think I have to be realistic. I think the old stone uh, villa it the, the is traditional, the traditional, traditional stone, stone yeah. one. Um, it's very oppressive for me uh -huh. coming where I come from. Sure. So I think I would have to discount that one. Due to the traditional stone house being too small and away from the beach, Helen has eliminated this from consideration. Now she needs to decide between the modernized traditional home and the Aegean Sea View home. The other ones, um, they both had very special appeal. Mm -hmm. They were both great houses. Yeah. Uh, the modern uh, stone one. Yes, yeah, the one that we The detail they had put yes. into that. I know you fell in love with that. The, I love with the, the fireplace. fireplace. Yes. So, you know, if fireplace. it goes missing one night and it's <laughs> in the paper, I'll me. know where it is. Um, I think with that one, in order to show it off to perfection, you'd really need another block of land there. Okay, yeah, the land that was next to it that yeah, we don't the, know yet with, if it's up for sale or with not. With the ruins and that, and it seemed to be very narrow. The house was superb. Yes, they Absolutely did a wonderful superb. job renovating that house. And of course, then you come to the Aegean and see. Yes, the Aegean Sea, the brand new, um, I mean, a brand new build. Yeah, villa. Uh, and still sympathetic with its surroundings. 
I really like that one. I know, the view was the really only, nice. Yeah, the only thing difficult with it is that it isn't finished. Mm -hmm. So oh. for me, I think that's the one. It's been and a superb decision. That'll be so exciting oh, to have you here on you. Lesbos. <laughs> thank you so much. I, I Seriously, it would have been so daunting mm -hmm. to do it on my own. Well, I'm glad we had the chance to meet in person. Yeah. I think we were very, we really did good these three days and I think I it was think, worth it. I think so. I think it was worth and it. And it was worth getting the right person to do the right thing. It's official. Helen selected the Aegean Sea View home located in Vatera, which features direct sea views, a large open floor layout, detailed finishes, and an outdoor barbecue area. <music> Hellenic home hunting was a positive experience for her. Join us next time for another Greek home hunting adventure.